<laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? This will be my first video I will be uploading in regards to the new Warhammer Chaos and Conquest and its gameplay that I am going to bring to you. As you guys see, I've been playing this game for about a week now since release, maybe a couple hours afterwards. And uh, right now I'm in the number one alliance on there. I haven't really been attacking too many people. I've been focusing mainly, mainly on uh, upgrading and resources and uh, making sure that I can have a good power level by the time it comes time for war. Uh, so, let's break it down real quick. Right now, our alliance is the Nightbringers. We're up uh, about a couple million on top of BLO, which is the Black Legions. These guys are our sole rivals, it looks like. Uh, we've been going neck to neck with these guys since the beginning of the weekend. Uh, all I can say is that we have been demolishing them in all of our events, pretty much. Uh, our, our alliance here with the Nightbringers typically have a little bit more of active players. The BLL players, they do have some actives in there, but with them, they only have a couple whales, which if you don't know what a whale means, it just means that you're a pay-to-play player and you literally boost the power out of your, your keep and build a bunch of troops, so that way you have an advantage on everybody else in the uh, region. Uh, the region I'm in right now, if you guys want to take a peek here, the region I am currently with right now is Wolfheart 1. Uh, top player is Bishop, but it's another alliance, but as you guys can see, top alliance is us, so it really doesn't matter if about them. We're going to be uh, stopping these guys and owning the zone. Break it down to my member list. I am the uh, vice president of this alliance, so if you are part of Wolfheart, you see this video, shoot a thumbs up. Also, if you're not part of Wolfheart region, Shoot a, shoot a thumbs up on the video regardless and uh, shoot me a subscribe because I will be uploading more of these videos in the future if you feel like I am uh, giving you good solid information. Now breaking it down to the point where I'm at right now, I have my Chaos Fortress up to uh, 14. That's my keep to level 14 and the main reason I got it up to 14 within the week is I have my first major goal which was making sure I can get those giants. And the Chaos Giants themselves I'll bring out to right here. They're a tier 3 troop. Uh, they are monsters. They're monsters. So if you have monsters buffs and you're aiming for that, this might be the troop you're looking for because, as you could tell, they are beefy. Super beefy. I mean, they got 32 armor. Melee damage is 520. But the load is what really gets me. It's 60 on the load. And if you're a young young player in this game, that's going to really benefit you a lot, especially when it comes time to collect resources out in the, the mines or wherever it is scattered throughout the tiles on the map. Uh, another thing is focus on your re research. Like resources should be your main priority. You shouldn't spend any of your diamonds or whatever you want to call these warp stones. Yeah, I mean, if you have warp stones, save those suckers. Like you need to use those solely on your research because that's going to benefit you the most. I mean, you're going to get all the boosts you need. You're going to get everything that you really need through your research. So if you can focus on research, you're going to be good. Try not to spend them on, on uh, upgrading your buildings unless you really need to. But I'm my own player. You guys are your own players. We all have different goals and different ways we play. So whatever is your best way you want to do it, go ahead and take that approach. Don't say, I'm not saying that you should do my approach. My approach is different than other players approaches, but I've noticed in past games like Clash of Clans and other games similar to these these type of games that you can improve a lot quicker and get what you get where you need to be with with the the research. So in Sorcerer Citadel, we're gonna kind of hit down on this first. Uh, there are a couple things you can go and research. What I've come to conclusion is that your military command and battle rituals pretty much are going to be your sole proprietary. Defense rituals are definitely going to help you out with the game and protecting because it seems like this game is solely based on defense. So I do recommend to use defense, but try to get all the command rituals out. Like if you look right here, I'll show you. Merciless Slave Lord, that's a very, very needed research to be able to take. And as you can tell, I'm already level 5 out of the 10. It takes about 2 days to get to 6. But I need to be on the Sorcerer Citadel of level 15. I'm actually stopping right now at 14 so I can build up some troop power. But by the time that happens, if you look at the info bar on the top right, you can click on that. It gives me about 5% more construction speed. And that actually allows me to build and get things done a lot faster than waiting it out and having to get surpassed by other pay-to-play players. Not gonna lie, I did spend a couple dollars on the game, but I mean, it's not gonna hurt a couple dollars. 
I needed to get my uh, a couple things I really wanted out of the way. Uh, but it does help to, to do that. The next thing, Alliance Help. I'm not sure if they fixed it or not, but recently I've got my Alliance Help up to level 8. It does take about 6 days to get it up. And I need you do have to be a uh, 14 in your keep to be able to get to level 9. Um, but what this actually helped me out with, and I've noticed it helps out a lot. If you have it, I think about 6 or 7, it takes about 10 minutes off of the the time for upgrades or whatever you're trying to do with the assist. And it honestly, I think the 10 minutes really reflects on the amount of time that's on the timer. So if they have a bigger time, time limit of a couple days, then I'll probably drop about 10 minutes per time. But if you have about a 1 hour and 30 minute upgrade, uh, probably just take off the one or three, one to three minutes off your timer, but that should be a big one too. If you get the lines help, it'll save you so many of the warp stones, and it'll save you so much of the hassle. Uh, enough with the citadel and its research needs. Next thing I want you guys to think about is look at what, what I've done with my upkeep. I'm I'm gonna make sure all you guys can see what the uh, KS upkeep at level 14 looks like. Uh, my loadout's really good. I'm not getting a bad amount of loadout because I keep about 10 of my food and 10 of my lead mines running. And that gives me a chance to go out and just collect the resources I need for the other three. Um, but you guys can see that my true power is 162, 160. That has to do with my troops not being inside of the base. So if my my troops were within inside my uh, chaos keep, then I probably would move up a little bit. And my total power would actually stay at the that two million two hundred fourteen thousand. Whatever approach you guys are aiming for, go for it. I'm actually looking into going with a full defensive archer monster loadout. So I mean. It's really uh, all up to you guys to see what you guys want to do with that. But hold on, let me assist these. These are my assist. My alliance is not doing. Oh, I shouldn't say that. My alliance is doing an amazing job, actually. Like we we've come here, and I'll show you the history real quick. Claim that I didn't even do anything with the defeat armies. My alliance did everything for me. I was just focusing on the other events coming up. But I mean, pretty much in each of our categories, we hit first, first, first. Personal doesn't even matter. I wasn't even worried really about that because they have the next event coming up. So uh, it didn't really bother me about those two. If there's an event coming up, prep yourself for that event. If it's an uh, if it's 23 hours and 42 minutes away, make sure you before you go to bed. And well, if you are going to sleep, make sure you you place down an upgrade, which is around that time frame, just a little bit above it. So that way when it comes time to placing in that event, if it's an upgrade gaining resources event or gaining power event, whatever that upgrade did whenever the time it reached it, it already implemented it into the event. And then you get your power level and you keep going personally up. It helps out a lot to do that. So keep that in mind. Uh, Chaos Giants, I love them. Definitely go for them. They're really awesome. If you're in this region, shoot me a message. I, I love talking to everybody. We actually have a live Discord currently going on with a lot of our pack alliances. And actually bringing up the topic of packs, to get anywhere in this game, even though it is a chaos and conquest game, you need to make friends. And without friends, your your alliance might fall. Or, or I mean, you could improve without packs. It really doesn't matter. But I've noticed with us, we keep our packs pretty heavy and we have leaders within each of our packs to help us out when con time comes as long as you're working with them you can coordinate attacks you can drop down the power levels of those other major po power players on the leaderboard and it can really benefit your alliance and the other pack alliances too as well but enough on that i think this is a pretty good amount of time on the video shoot a thumbs up on the video subscribe if you're interested in seeing more let me know in the comments what you want to see next and what you think will be a great thing to implement into this game whatever it could be it could be uh, silences so that way nobody can really scout you even though they have something like that but a more updated version of it or even something as simple as like giving us a 30 day bubble whenever the game first starts so that way within the first day you're not going to get wiped out by a whole power level higher than you, you know but yeah this is structures on fire coming from you from Nightbringer Slay. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.